Today's show is sponsored by Microjig. Work safer. Work smarter. And Inventables. Hi, I'm David Petruto, and today I'm going to show you how I made this end grain cutting board with epoxy inlay. End grain cutting boards are supposed to be easier on your knives than a long grain cutting board because the wood fibers open up and close as the knife passes through. The cutting board we'll be making is made from soft maple and measures 10.5 inches by 17 inches. It has some rubber feet and a hamburger inlay that I designed and carved out on my X-Carve and filled in with a food safe epoxy. Let's begin. I'll start off with some 8 quarter maple and plane it down to 1 and 3 quarters inch thick. Then I'll rip it down to 1 and 3 quarter inch strips. This would be the size of the individual squares on the face of the cutting board. Next, I'll cross cut them down to 20 inches. This will give me plenty of extra to work with. I've got enough here to make two cutting boards. One you'll see in this video, and the other will be used in an upcoming video. I'll flip over every other one to break up the repeating pattern. Then I'll turn them over, add some glue, and clamp them up. Be sure to keep them as level as possible. You can use calls if you like, but I've had great results using my fingers and slowly tightening the clamps. After about 30 minutes, I scrape off the excess glue. Once the glue fully dries, I'll clean it up by running some light passes through the planer. Back over on the table saw, I'll cross cut them down to one and a half inch strips. This measurement determines the thickness of the cutting board. Now I'll randomize the boards and glue them up with the end grain on the top and bottom faces. If you're lucky enough to have a drum sander, this makes for quick work on cleaning up the faces. If you don't have a drum sander, a belt sander will do. Next, I'll clean up the edges on the table saw. Now it's time to carve our cheeseburger design into the face using the X-Carve. I like to secure my board down using double-sided mounting tape. We'll load up the art and easel and send it off to the X-Carve. I'm using an eighth inch bit and removing about a quarter inch of material over three passes. I'm going to fill the negative space with food safe epoxy and tin it using food coloring. The epoxy I'm using didn't mix well with the food coloring, so in my first attempt the epoxy refused to dry. In my second attempt, I used extra hardener and a heat gun that seemed to do the trick. I wanted a dark brown hue, so I just used all the colors until I was satisfied and poured the mixture right into the cavity. I was worried the food coloring would stain the wood, so I decided to brush it over the entire top. I learned later that that wasn't necessary. So after 24 hours, I used a heat gun to help the mixture cure a bit more, and then sanded it all down. I rounded the corners using my router, but the computer goblins ate up the footage. Sanding end grain takes a long, long time, so be prepared on spending some time smoothing it out. For the finish, I'm using a few coats of General Finish's Salad Bowl finish. Now, I'll screw on some rubber feet. Make sure your screws are stainless, and once the finish fully cures, you're ready to start cutting. The finish I chose leaves a film on top. If you're looking for more of a natural finish, you can mix up some mineral oil and paraffin wax, although that type of finish needs to be reapplied more often than this salable finish. In an upcoming video, I'm going to make another end grain cutting board, but use a contrasting wood as the inlay instead of epoxy. 
If you're new to my channel, I encourage you to subscribe as I put out all kinds of fun tutorial videos nearly every week. And on my website, I have tons of plans and projects for all skill levels. If you want to support the free content I provide, you can do so by becoming a Patreon member at the link below. Well thanks for watching. If you're watching this on YouTube, you can continue watching more of my videos by clicking on one of these projects. Be safe, stay passionate, and make something.